On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going on in Jamaica. So in this morning's first set of stories, my peeps, on your screen is a man who goes by the name of Ruff, birth name Anthony Leopold Green, who obviously is no longer among the land of the living as he was given birth to by his mother on the 12th of July 1970 but his life was taken from him on the 15th of December 2022. Now this man is from the Hannatown area in the troubled crime-riddled war-torn Kingston Western Police Division but this man's life was however not taken in the place where he hails from but his life was taken in another section of the kingston western police division known as hopeful village now this brother rough has close ties to one of hannah town's alleged dons this man presently on your screen known in the criminal underworld as blacky boy he is said to be the alleged gang leader for the reputed superstar gang that is the arch rival for another long-standing gang that hails from the community of hanatown now this man presently on your screen known as Danville Palmer, is definitely no stranger to on the spot news media, as I've done many vlogs that involves this controversial figure. Now, Danville Palmer is allegedly the reputed gang leader for the Upsetter Gang in Hannatown. Now, there has been a long-standing war between both gangs for as far as many of us can remember. A long-standing war between the Upsetter Gang and between the Superstar Gang that has claimed the lives of many to include some of its reputed gang leaders. So this war continues. And another man end up bite the dust because of this same long-standing war. Now, for those who have no idea about what on the spot news media is speaking about, I've covered vlogs on these gangs way back. So you can tune in and watch these videos presently on your screen and get in tuned to what I'm speaking about. Now, rough end up losing three pints in one of the most gruesome and horrific way anybody can lose them three pints now it is widely stated and said that rough's close affiliation to the reputed gang leader for the superstar gang is the main reason for his demise it is said that Ruff was definitely no angel, no halo over him head or no white wing a flap round about this. And his close affiliation to 
blacky boy led to his passing. Now, the thing about this, Ruff end up losing three pints outside of the warring turf, which is rather unusual in these type of gang wars because normally man a man not too stray. So if a man a got can a man, him have a can him pan females or within that specified space that designated so-called war ground. But rough end up lose film tree pines over hopeful village. Now for rough lose film tree pines in a hopeful village. You also have a reputed Dan that quote-unquote controls that turf. That man in question is definitely also no stranger to on the spot news media. Definitely no stranger to the Denham Town Police because this man has had his fair share of run-ins with the law over the years has been in and out of police lockups in recent times. So he's definitely not a stranger to the police. Now this man goes by the underworld name as Ichipang. This man has control over that area that the man known as Ruff lost his life. So for anything go on panda ground there, Ichipang must have knowledge to it whether it be prior knowledge or knowledge after the fact but knowledge of the incident nonetheless now it is said in the streets that Danville and Ichipang have an understanding and Ichipang was very much influential in that knockings and clappings note i am not for certain that ichipang was there neither am i saying that he played a role in taking the life of rough but what i am indeed saying that he must have either prior knowledge of or knowledge of the act after the act was committed so Ichipang is definitely a very vital part of this knockings and clappings. So I'm saying all of that to say this, that the squad of them need to question Ichipang because a theme grown that. So any man commit any act like that in a theme place, he must have knowledge about it. It's full time now, you know. Them little warrior stop and come to an end because all of our warfare don't belong to none of them. the whole of our band come see it this war where uno a fight right now and a fool no war the war way bigger than uno uno is just criminal enablers where i uh, make this warrior transition from one generation to the other and it's full time now on a stop it. On ever sit back and sit on yourself yet. Yo, you know, say, I know my war this. Why me even my fight the war? Yeah? Why so much people have to lose them life? Yeah, war when my barn come see. As some other man did have some issues, you know. And Uno just come inherit the thing and just take it up and prolong it way further than it should have been. Uno no see how much of the family and friends lose them three pints. And the man them too. We are knock it and clap it. Uno no see say Uno alone are losing the three pints. The damn them still alright. Blacky boy still there are foreign and live the best of life and Uno out here lose for the three pints. Wise up youth. Yeah man. And all who can hear you know. Them always end up feel and feel the hard way. One who just need to understand, say, sometime enough is enough. Let go of all of the old hurts and let bygones be bygones. Preservation of life for 2023. And I'm pretty sure many are going to run back in my inbox and say Danville innocent and Danville now push no war and I lie them and tell Pan Danville. One hand can't clap. Danville can't war by himself. Blackie boy can't war by himself. 
So each one of you scratch each other back for the war continue or for the war end. So the choice is now yours, you know. So blacky boy, nobody feel like so because you're not living in Jamaica, you're among the diaspora. Nobody feel like so you're safe. The long arms of the law, note the word long, can reach anyway. And Danville, you get a second chance at life, you know. Because you're there prison for much years. And you get a second chance to come out to make things right. As I say, to make things right. But instead, it seems as if you make things wrong. So if you continue to spit in your face, who gave you a second chance, you might go take away the ticky and make you get a wrong bang. Yeah, man. So again, a word to the wise is most definitely sufficient. But anyway, my peeps, make we continue. Now over there in the St. Catherine South Police Division, we are talking about over Portmore, for sure. On your screen is a man known as Linval Lewis, a pastor for the Spanish town Tabernacle that is off Brunswick Avenue, the so. And also the pastor for the Greater Portmore Tabernacle, which is an extended arm of the church. The man them can him up. Criminal elements, the old dirty kind of boy them. 87s, whatsoever you want to use to describe them. But on the spot news media is with great sadness this morning. For me, I know, say, the pastor is no longer among the land of the living. As he was brutally gunned down in full view of some of his family members yesterday. Now, he was attacked just after midday when criminal elements opened up fire at him whilst he was driving from his house on Northwest 10th Way in Greater Portmore, St. Catherine. The incident, as I stated, occurred in the presence of some of his family members who was traveling with him. So as he came under gunfire, Lewis, or should I say, Pastor Lewis, lost control of the motor vehicle he was driving, which veered off the roadway onto a sidewalk, coming to a halt in a clump of small trees presently on your screen right now. And that took place just meters away from his home. Now, church members have expressed shock at this brutal attack of their pastor. People of Jamaica, at this we come to right now, because this is either one or two things. The pastor had a one-on-one -on -one altercation with the person when they in food, or it was a paid hit. And me more a swing for the paid hit part of it. Or a hit was placed on the pastor's head. And the part of it that me really a swing with. Because why would a lone gunman pep out the pastor car in such a way where, as you can see presently on your screen, let me zoom it so you can see all of the can up, can up, hold them, will fly through the windscreen. I hit the pastor in some very vital parts of his upper body. That when he reached the hospital, doctors then tried them at most best. But they couldn't save the pastor's life because of the direct hits that he got in sensitive parts of his upper body. So when you see an act like this is carried out in such a way, target and point. You know, say yo, that brother ya was sent specifically to do a dirt, and he did carry out what he was sent to do. Now, my peeps, I can't believe say our oh, Jamaica this or this we boiled down to. I've seen in past instances 
I think it was in Mobiar Cholani, if memory serves me correct, where a woman was in the church, a man brazen enough to go in her church, go can up the woman, whilst another female member of the church was in high spirits during a praise and worship session in the church. We see another incident off Old Arbor Road where another pastor get liquid on church compound. And now we see this another pastor was brutally cut down. No respect at all for God the Almighty. No respect at all for human life. No respect at all to the fact that, yo, this is a clergyman. One time gone in my peeps in Jamaica, you know, we used to have boundaries. The criminals them used to have boundaries. Them used to work within a certain confined space and then dare not step out of that. Now them uh, later days, last days criminal, yeah, them not have no respect for nobody and them not have no respect for nothing. Literally, them not have no respect not even for them own self. When are we going to wake up and smell the roses as a country? And she say, them all dirty kind of boy deserve to go and go forth with. Because no matter what the reason is behind you taking the pastor's life, it couldn't be that bad that warranted the man's life. Life are the greatest gift given unto anybody. Even you, the criminal enablers, even you, the knackis and clappies, even you, the worst of the worst. God gave you life also and are the greatest gift. That's the reason why you are protect your three pints so much. So why you feel it is just if you go take a next man own. And the same gift God gave all of it. So just like oh you see yours as a precious gift for you want to protect. Stop trying to take the life of others. One thing me are telling you in Jamaica. You say, if we don't wake up and wake up soon and smell the roses, I tell you, you know, it's going to be too late because you say, anytime it come, knock on our door, hide that, I scan to share you now, lights out. So again, my peeps, a word to the wise is definitely sufficient. So for those law-abiding citizens out there who know of these criminal elements, know of these criminal acts, play your part. And even to the criminal elements out there committing these type of atrocities, stop more time, man. Look on yourself, man, and say, yo, I really this, the Almighty, bring me upon Jalan to become. Do a little self-assessment. We are big on them. Do a little self-evaluation and ask yourself if you're really pleased with the person that you are today. Look back upon the little youth at age 4 or 5 to up to even 10 years old and tell me if that is how you envisioned your life to be when you grow up. I'm pretty sure at some point in time if you do that, you have to go re-evaluate yourself and wheel and come again. Youths, you are misguided and trust me, trust and believe you know, I do it wrong. Yeah, man. But anyway, my peeps, remember, if you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.